Immigration, if re-elected, Donald Trump has said he's willing to build migrant detention camps and deploy the U.S. military to deport the more than 11 million undocumented immigrants in this country. It would be the largest deportation operation in American history. Do you support that plan? 11 million. That's an outdated. That, that was the number 10 years ago. We're talking upwards of 20, 25, maybe 30 million. Well, There's the, been almost 10 million people that have entered this country in law in the last three to, to years. The, question, would you so the, the number varies big time. I mean, it's another 9 to 10 million people just in the last three years. The answer to your question is yes. We cannot absorb 25, 30 million people who entered this country illegally. They're here illegally. What country on earth would tolerate that? We don't even know who some of these, most of these people are. They talk about vetting, vetting them with what? They're coming from nations that don't even have document systems in many cases. Yes, we are going to have to do something, unfortunately. We're going to have to do something dramatic to remove people from this country that are here illegally, especially people we know nothing about. But 10 million, 11 million, that was the number 15 years ago. Today, it's upwards of probably 25 to 30 million, maybe more. Senator, will you accept the election results of 2024 no matter what happens, Senator? No matter what happens, no. If it's an unfair election, I think it's going to no be contested by wins. either side. Senator, no matter well, who wins. You, uh, I think you're asking the wrong person. The Democrats are the ones that have opposed every Republican victory since 2000. Every single one. It's but Hillary no Clinton. No Democrat has that, refused that, to concede. Hillary Clinton conceded. Senator, will you accept the election? Results? Hillary Clinton said the election was stolen from her and that Trump was illegitimate. But she Kamala Harris Senator, agreed. She we have Democrats the election. now. Senator, she conceded she the said, election. She said, that Joe, she said that Joe, she said that no, she said that Trump was illegitimate. She said that the election had been stolen. Kamala Harris agreed. By the way, there are Democrats serving in Congress today who, in 2004, voted not to certify the Ohio vo uh, electors because they said those machines Senator. had been tampered with. And you have Democrats now saying they won't certify 2024 because Trump Sen is an insurrectionist Senator. and ineligible to hold office. So you need to ask them. I think you've had. A, have you ever asked the Democrat Senator, this Senator, question Senator, on your you, show? Senator. I bet you you've never asked the Democrat that question. Are Donald Trump's claims undermining Americans' confidence in democracy, given that he has not conceded the last election and he just said in recent days twice that he won Minnesota, Senator? I think what undermines people's confidence in the election is when you have places like Wisconsin with over 500 illegal drop box locations, when you have places like Georgia where liberal you, groups are Senator. paying people $10 a per vote. No, but listen, what undermines elections is when meet the, when NBC News and every major news outlet in America in 2020 censored the Biden laptop story, which turned out to be true, not Russian misinformation, unprecedented. Only you, you couldn't even talk about it on social media. They would deplatform you. People look at all this. They look at what happened in Arizona. Two hundred thousand ballots Senator, that had the signatures didn't match. Senator, People will lose confidence and it Senator, opens the door have, to this. I have to it jump does. in here. Senator, you voted to certify the election and because at that stage in the process, would, you have no Senator, options. Senator, you voted to certify the election. Nothing has been censored on this program. Hillary Clinton. Did you guys